Hi, and welcome back. I'm glad you've joined us. Today we're going to go over another addition problem that has adding fractions with unlike denominators. This is a question from the quiz that we took the Friday before we went on, on uh, Thanksgiving vacation. This is problem number two. So we're going to follow along. When you get in your data folder next time, you can look and check and make sure how to do it and see what you did wrong. So that'll be good information for you in case those exact questions come on a final test. An end of the unit test, say, maybe, kind of. So let's look at the problem here. The problem reads, and it may be too small for you to understand or see from there, so I'm going to read it out loud. The problem says, you go out for a long walk, which is important because, as you know from the last question, you just ate a half of a pan of brownies. You walk three-fourths of a mile. So you walked three-fourths of a mile. Important. I circle it. I like to notify and identify what's important so that I can get the problems correct instead of just getting them done as fast as humanly possible, as some of you like to do. And then you sit down and take a rest, because three-fourths of a mile, that's a long way. That's almost a whole mile. So you got to take a rest. You drink some water. You put your feet up. You listen to the new Weird Al. You watch on your phone a Fresh Beat Band episode. But then, then you walk three-eighths of a mile. And then we have how far did you walk altogether? So the first time you walked, three-fourths of a mile. Then you rested. The second part, you walked three-eighths of a mile. Okay? And now it says, how far did you walk altogether? And the word altogether, we want to know, tells us it's an addition problem. Altogether is an addition problem, because you walked this far, then you walked that far, we want to know the distance from here to here. So if I drew it in a picture, you started there, you walked to there, and that was three-fourths of a mile. Here you rested, then you walked three-eighths of a mile. Okay? And it wants to know all together. So from here to here is what it wants to know. So to do this, we have to add. We add what we walked first, which was three-fourths, plus what we watch, walked the second time, which is three-eighths. Now you'll notice that these do not have the same denominator. And as you learned last year, you can't add fractions unless they do have the same denominator. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the least common denominator. Which basically we're taking a multiplication chart and we're finding the first number that appears in the row that starts with 4 and the row that starts with 8. So if I count by 4s, I have 4, 8, 12, 16. If I count by 8s, I have 8, 16, 24. And I see the first number that appears in both the 4 row and the 8 row is actually 8. So my least common denominator is going to equal 8. So what we do with our least common denominator is we take that And we're going to make equivalent fractions to each of our add-ins. And we're going to use that to find our total sum. We're not going to change the value. But we're going from 3 fourths to something over 8. We're going to multiply because it's getting bigger. And we need to multiply by a fraction that equals 1. Well, if I want to go from 4 to 8, 4 times 2 would give me 8. So i got to multiply by a fraction that equals 1, so that's 2 over 2, or 2 halves. When you multiply fractions, you go straight across. 4 times 2 is 8. 3 times 2 is 6. So what we're saying is 3 fourths and 6 eighths are equivalent. If you took your fraction strips and you cut out 3 fourths 
and below it you, wrote, you cut out six eighths and line them up, they should be exactly the same. Okay? This one already has a denominator of eight, so we take three eighths and we just bring it over here. And we get our total of nine eighths. But uh oh, we can't leave it at nine eighths because that's a what class? Excellent. That is an improper fraction. And we don't like improper fractions as answers. We can't leave them as answers. So what we have to do is we have to change from an improper fraction to a mixed number. And I'm going to erase this and we're going to talk about how to do it. You already know how to do it basically because it's in your journal. But if you've forgotten, Mr. McMurdo's here to remind you. To change from an improper fraction to a mixed number, it's a simple division problem. You divide your denominator into your numerator. Okay? So in this case, we divide 8 into 9. 8 goes into 9 one time. 1 times 8 is 8. Subtract and we get 1. So 1 remainder 1. Okay? Which can be rewritten as 1, the remainder comes over here, and 1, and the denominator stays the same. So the answer to that problem would be 1 and 1 eighth. So you walked 1 and 1 eighth miles, which is good because, as I said earlier, you ate that pan or half a pan of brownies, so you're going to look like me unless you keep exercising, and exercise is good for you. So please be healthy because... I just want to see you here with me, stopping by when you're rich and famous, giving me money, and still being healthy. Thank you for watching.